In this video, I want to talk about KDE Plasma Compositor and Desktop Effects. Low Tech Linux. If you go into System Settings, the easiest way to find all these settings is in the little search box. You can search Compositor. There's your Compositor. Or you can search Effects which will also give you compositor, but it will give you desktop effects and screen edges and touchscreen. Screen edges. This one's set by default by KDE. And this is the one that lets you shove your mouse into the top left corner and display everything that's there. And then you can switch windows so easy. And you can also set different actions for different points. You can set anything you want as long as it's in this. Touch screen is the same thing except for it's touch screen enabled. You touch the edge of the screen that's active and then swipe toward the center. So this one here, you touch the left side, swipe center, touch the top, swipe center. They have the same actions as the screen edges. I do have a touch screen laptop. I have not tried it yet. That'll be another day. Okay, on to desktop effects. I really like KDE Plasma's default settings. Got a little bit of blur, a little bit of translucence. This is also where you can set the classic cube. Desktop cube. Let's check out settings. Uh, to activate, it's control F11. Opacity, name, reflection, background, wallpaper. I only have... I only have two desktops, so it's actually not going to be a cube. It's going to be two-dimensional, but it'll basically do the same thing. If I do Control F11, then we get to see the desktop, two-dimensional desktop cube. Control F11 brings me back to normal. I'm going to unselect that. This is also where you have the classic wobbly window. Awesome. This one is so classic. This one's about as classic as the close the window and it catches on fire. So let's check our settings. Have less and more wobbly. And you can see the little bit of wobble there. I'm going to slide that to more. Bring it back up. Oh, lots of wobble. Look at that. That is so cool. I don't use it, but it's still really cool disable that now the real question is when you try to play a game and you say you're on KDE plasma and the game's not running quite right the first thing that 90% of the people will tell you is disable compositor compositor effects and you can do that from here effect or compositor just uncheck that hit apply I don't want to disable them thank you and that will disable them. You can also disable effects temporarily by pushing Alt Shift F12. You see the little bit of, you see the bottom bar go solid. And when you push the menu, there is no opacity. Just turn it back on by doing the same Alt Shift F12. And my opacity's back. That's back. Uncheck that, hit apply, and that will make it so that it's disabled on startup. So what does that actually give us? I restarted the computer. I let it sit there for a couple of minutes. And then did HTOP, took a screenshot. This one's with compositing. This one is without compositing. With compositing, memory usage 685 megabytes compared to memory usage 655 megabytes difference of 30 megabytes and then the the tasks 88 to 87 it makes sense compositors not running that is one more task or one less task it's running 261 threads 243 threads two running one running okay so all these numbers they're a little less down here the load average of with running is actually less than load running without average and i think that's just a spike anomaly while your computer's sitting there doing nothing it's going to be all these numbers are going to be changing up and down. You'd have to do this 10, 20 times and then take the average. Not going to do it because this is statistically insignificant. There's not a whole lot here. And I've 
I've always done it too, or if a game wasn't running great, I would disable the compositor, and in my mind it was doing better. I just, I'm not 100% sure if it was actually doing better. So, I guess it's up to you to decide. If you do, uh, if you disable your compositor and your game runs better, or your application runs better, or your browser runs better, then, you know, by all means, disable your compositor. But that's what it looks like here. Thanks for watching. Thank you.